called update uh, like current coursework and upcoming course uh, entire compensation would be around 200k 150 200k for Thank you Arishri for doing this really means a lot your today's journey where mm-hmm. we're going to focus about Salesforce TPM yeah. internship and how you got into it before we do that let's do a quick intro where are you from what do you do where are you right now and fun stuff Okay uh so my name is Harishri uh, I am currently a master student at Carnegie Mellon University at the Heinz College of Information Systems I am currently pursuing information security and policy management as my masters and uh previously for my internship 3 months I interned at Salesforce as a technical program manager for the security assurance team I am from Bangalore India I <laughs> I currently live in Pittsburgh I am a retired professional swimmer, so Whoa, I just. Oh, that I didn't know that. that on the yeah. weekends. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, you also have a full time job offer, which we'll talk about it in in mm-hmm. this. Uh, and the full time job offer is through your internship. Did you have any work experience as a TPM or a program manager? Not necessarily. Um, I I worked for two years in India as a network engineer, and I started working on security issues. I started doing reports, finding bugs in systems, and then uh, I had an interest towards it. So that's when I chose information security. I got an offer for security analyst. I got an offer for program manager. Then I had to make a hard choice. and mm. it was like two weeks in and around and both the deadlines were approaching so <laughs> i had to make a hard decision but then um my personality is an extrovert personality so i went with it i was like yeah i love talking to people i love being technical and i think this is the right let me give it a shot so yeah. that's when it knew and i was yeah. like let me just do it this That is so awesome. I do want to put a disclaimer that she did mention that she's a extrovert. Obviously, I can tell from your energy that you are an <laughs> extrovert. I am an introvert, so all the introverts out there don't assume that you have to be an extrovert to have to become a program manager. I just want to throw out yeah. that because yeah, uh, what does TPM stand for and what do they do? Uh, or at least what do TPM interns do? So, uh TPM interns basically do a lot of data analysis. It's like uh kind mm. of predicting the behavior. Since it was um a little bit with security, we were focusing on the security compliance with respect to the SDLC. So that's why the secure software development life cycle. So, it's our analysis of behavior, who is doing what, how do we manage threats, how do we manage vulnerabilities, how can we reduce vulnerabilities? Mm. Sort of that. Uh that is mostly on the data analysis side. The other thing is uh talking to people right mm. so when i say talking to people it's conflict management mm. so conflict management as in um, it can be deadlines it can be some issue in pro- pushing a particular um feature or something like that so you need to talk to the person who is responsible for it it can be the functional manager but in salesforce we have another person um a business intelligence officer so tpms technical program managers talk to business intelligence officers and then the business intelligence officer talks to the functional manager mm. so it's basically regulating com- uh, conversation between the three heads and trying to regulate the process so that you reach the deadline mm. so those are the two main things and uh, yeah being able to hold a conversation and being able to convey your thoughts that yeah. is basically what it is yeah does. communication yeah yes. um love it and i think it it again i also want to throw out that you are obviously in a security domain so uh in my case uh, where i am a tpm in a fintech startup i don't do a lot of data analysis so that it could be a company to company because some right. companies may ask tpm to do product writing product or business specifications yeah. some companies don't so it just but overall yeah a lot of coordination a lot of time management yeah. a lot of uh, people management not really like you're managing the people but right. getting people to do the work and all of that you don't have any tpm experience uh, right. and you in spite of that you still went for it you still applied right. you got it and um, i know a lot of other people might because of their fear that whether they will get it or not they might not even try attempting it even if they want to so i don't want them to give up on their dreams right just based on that fear that i might not be good enough for this role there's one saying that i've learned from swimming a no yeah. means next opportunity mm. instead of taking it as a reject so that has kept me motivated in my entire professional life and the same thing i put for my career as well in mm. this setting of profession cuz 
until you try you don't know yeah. and even if you get a reject it's fine if mm. not this you still have a opportunity this cannot be the end yes Definitely. yes what's the first step you took uh, as your job search strategy like okay now i know mm. when did you start it and this is the first thing i started to do august 6th i landed and i started applying on august 6th night i still remember the date <laughs> so yeah um i kept applying but my resume was literally crap that's one thing i realized no wonder i didn't get that i'm an amazon internship that i applied for. <laughs> so uh i took like two weeks uh into for um you know creating the format um according to how ats scans would go through uh so i put present to past then put my technical publications over there a bit and my work experience a bit then some projects that i did in undergrad because i didn't have any projects in cmu at that point right so then i put some skills so the skills part of things that i got a little bit creative over the year uh what i did is instead of just putting in your skills i made two uh, separate subheadings called update uh, like current coursework and upcoming coursework so that mm. way you can uh, capture more job description keywords yeah yes keywords in your resume and then i saw your video also on uh, you know adding those keywords and stuff and then i just got a bit creative on that mm. and then i was like okay now i can put 20 courses nice <laughs> I mean, yeah I'm I, yeah. I'm like like you said. I'm not lying on the resume because it's coming in. It's, it's in the next semester what I'm going to study. But that is required for my job description right now. I'll be like, see, I will learn before the internship, but not right now. Mm, Something like that. that is so such a way, smart technique. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did you get LinkedIn referrals or like how? Do, what? What's the like? What's your process? How do you find people? What, what do you tell them? What do you say to them? This is a tribute to you. <laughs> <laughs> so I did watch your watch your video, and um, you said right, like just don't go and ask for a referral. No one's gonna give you that because they'll just be like you're using them. Yeah. So mended it a bit, uh, like you said. Took your advice. Um, I went through a lot of uh, people uh, whom I wanted to talk to, like senior security analysts or senior database security analysts or engineers or uh, for program manager especially senior program managers in. uh various xyz companies i just went through their profiles and i was like yeah maybe this person is a good candidate to talk to um it was at least 100 profiles if i'm not wrong so i just went through like 100 profiles and i sent a note uh stating that um hi i am this this i'm like harshri i'm pursuing my masters here and i would be very keen to understand your day to day basis this is what i'm looking at for my career uh, i would really hope that you can give me some insight into the role your day to day responsibilities mm-hmm. how you chose so basically understand the person's perspective as to why they chose in the first place so if i understand i get into their mind as to why they chose it in the first place i might be able to you know decide it for myself is what i thought at that point so automatically i at least got around 70 replies back wow that is a big conversion not a lot of people <laughs> get like yeah. 70 uh, i would say like uh, maybe 30% conversion is oh, usually i got a lot of uh, this thing and um, i went for conferences also uh, so that was um, another plus point definitely go to conferences cuz they are like what amazing. which which conferences did I you go to I went to women in cyber security apart from uh, like i can pinpoint security conferences there are some local conferences here in pittsburgh as well and uh, for security basically it's women in cyber security and rsac which is like the highlight apart from that you have your defcon and others as well so mm. it just depends on what you are interested in and you choose but women in cyber security for women in stem would be a huge huge benefit um even men are invited i just yeah, want yeah, to yeah 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 i mean there you said so many things so i want to break this down <laughs> a little bit because sure, uh, sure. Uh, there was like a lot of uh, good stuff in there number one is linkedin you went through yes. about 100 100 plus profiles yeah. you i'm assuming you how how did you filter it like did you just type technical program manager yeah. and then I just put security technical program manager technical program manager uh, uh hyphen security or senior technical tpm or uh, mm-hmm. then just randomly put in some of the companies that I knew and then put a tpm according to that so that I understand the comp- since I know the company's culture I wanted to get right. an insight on how it is to work in that company because not only the 
uh, title matters, the company that you work in also matters. So, Correct. so you did that. You made a conversation. You asked some good questions, uh, mm-hmm. which is like about the culture, about the company, about their day to day life. Why did they choose? What they look for? Genius things like that. So for people, sometimes they ask me like, okay, I find it, but I don't know what to ask them. These are like go with some intentional question versus can you refer me, which is what you know you did. Like you went with some knowledge based questions, which so they can actually give you some feedback, and then you ask them like, okay, I'm actually looking for a similar role, and I saw a position, and can you refer me to that? So that's good. So that's LinkedIn route. Uh, conference route is where. there are a lot of local conferences happening big conferences happening again grace hop i've heard a lot about grace hopper and it's an amazing opportunity yes yeah a lot of uh, career i mean there is a people actually doing interviews is what i've heard so 100% yeah. go it's worth it so i had uh, three callbacks from conferences and and when uh, you say callback as in interview calls yes i did mm-hmm. so yeah. I rejected two of them <laughs> because I had to go somewhere. Wow, them. you rejected them. <laughs> That's so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also, um, I had a on-spot offer. Uh, mm, on-spot Facebook. offer. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't know. So there's this one booth where they do resume review, career advice, and something else. I don't remember. So I went for career advice, and um, she she was a checkpoint person. I you don't know whom you're talking to actually uh, mm. when you're uh, when you're asking for career advice. I started talking about you know my experience. I was just basically trying to make her understand why I'm confused, why I'm doing this in the first place, and she's like, I feel like you have to be a a uh, security analyst and i will give you a job role right now will you take it <laughs> i thought she was joking <laughs> and i was like uh, what <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just processing this <laughs> she like go to the booth and tell uh, she referred and i was like i am so glad you offered this is a huge opportunity but i don't know i need some time to think on it i took like a week <laughs> and then i rejected that off <laughs> but yeah so but this is so good like um i i just want people to really implement this because um, going to conferences networking yeah and maybe you will end up having an offer and you yeah like at that point i didn't even know that i was interviewing for the role she was giving me career advice mm-hmm. and i was like yeah like let's say you're an introvert and you're just going for a career advice and you get a job on the spot <laughs> <laughs> you never knew you were interviewing in the first place right right so, right right yeah that's a huge opportunity what are some of the tips for linkedin linkedin about uh linkedin about is something that i got in one of my courses and uh, one of my professors was like linkedin about is your key to getting a job and i really mm. worked on my linkedin about everyone ignores linkedin about if you go and see every carnegie mellon hind student you know for a fact that there's a linkedin about <laughs> <laughs> and and i think uh, when she's saying linkedin about it's the description field or like an bio uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah linkedin about is not a separate product it's in yeah. the linkedin your profile description right. yeah so that is where you kind of sell yourself in a very modest way Don't mm. be pompous. No one likes pompous <laughs> people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be honest. <laughs> yeah. If you use your about section really well, where you can use all those keywords, so when recruiters are looking for it, your profile will show up the first. So, yes, I hundred percent agree to use the LinkedIn. And even if it doesn't work for SEO, when when you do apply, that's the first place they are gonna go and see. Like, okay, yeah. what do you have? So, how did you prep for the interview? or tpm roles that i did is i went to glassdoor i went to levels.fii and uh, see what are the common interview questions that mm. people would ask and everyone on every site said that behavior is going to be the heavy part of the interview so i went i googled what behavioral questions are i understood what behavioral questions could be got it okay um so basically online was your way to prepare for it uh, whether it be uh, asking the seniors uh, whether it be looking up the google yeah. and linkedin and glassdoor and levels.fi yeah. all of those stuff yeah and That's also it. i had this knowledge of all the seniors that i spoke to for this particular role so i knew mm. for a fact what they were doing and i'd asked similar questions mm. uh, to understand 
uh, like who, how would you prioritize scope schedule budget and mm. i know i know what they would say and i was like yeah this makes perfect sense this is just to get an idea on some questions that you can throw at them you don't have right. to be like what the scope schedule budget <laughs> it's fine. yeah 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 that's awesome uh, what's the typical interview process for tpm like what when like how many rounds and what's the process for it uh since i it was an internship for me it was two rounds mm. uh so i got an email on jan 5th asking for my availability so jan 7th they were quite fast sales was very fast uh so jan 7th uh i got my first round with my mm. director i think one one and a half hour was my interview the first round mm. and um, all of these behavioral questions random curve balls and then some security questions and then general topic about his dog we started talking about his dog his wife and i'm like yes <laughs> i want to work for you so bad <laughs> right <laughs> so i got my second round with a senior technical program manager fun fact the security the senior technical program manager hired my director Mm, so, so something is... like that so he had uh, military experience and uh, we kind of had a uh, similar background so i was from a military school uh, air force school and uh, we made that connection and also since i had interned at geo he he completely designed geo's network wow so, yeah but that's a good icebreaker i mean, I mean yeah. it's either you say it or he says it yeah. uh, it's it's a good a common yeah. uh, thread we find it and then it's a good uh, way to get the communication going so yeah so yeah. that was my second round but again it was a lot of behavioral questions he was very oriented with behavioral questions and uh, he spoke to me up he kind of wanted to understand if i knew anything about security so he asked me about conferences and uh, what do you think is the, like any basic uh, security questions also he started asking i was like oh mm. okay what are some of the behavioral questions typical behavioral questions they ask for tpm rounds so usually um, one was scope schedule budget that i think is a very universal question then people want to understand how you could tackle a scenario so they'll be like there's a particular tough candidate in your uh, you know team how would you handle them how would you pri- prioritize it there's mm. a p1 there's a p5 but even if there's a p1 and a p5 the p3 is more important and the deadline's approaching would you uh, you know give importance to the deadline or mm. would you give priority on the severity of this so it's something like that everybody wants to know what how much money do tpm interns make <laughs> <laughs> so it varies from uh, one company to the other but the range is usually 40 to 55 dollars an hour wow this is <laughs> so crazy uh, especially salesforce uh, they obviously pay really well uh, they do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if people who don't know if you do the quick math let's assume 50 dollars um and 40, you work 40 hours and when you are intern you get paid hourly yeah. so um so that's so 2000, 40 hours a week we work yeah so that's 2040 15 to 40 2000 dollars in a week there's four weeks that's 8000 dollars <laughs> <laughs> so from but around, it's cali so remember the taxes so <laughs> I I right. interned in Cali so Yeah 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 yeah. Well uh, oh yeah so you were in San Francisco? Yeah I was I was. Uh, what was the cost of living there? Uh yeah. it was like 1500 for a room. Uh, so we paid 750 each. Um I That's didn't... not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah. for Cali. Actually in San Francisco because I know yeah. I have friends who are in like Bay Area Sunnyvale they pay yeah. like 2300 for one yeah, room. Yeah. So Yeah and I remember because we had a separate stipend apart from our uh this thing like a relocation stipend so most of or them interns too yeah <laughs> this is so good wow Salesforce, i need to, I need to let my company know <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we uh, i remember like half of my friends actually exhausted the internship sp- uh, stipend like for the relocation part of things because they start paying like 2 2.2k for a month and that kind of wait, wait, wait. okay uh, so so okay this is very interesting so they pay you relocation for your entire internship program yes yes so you didn't have any cost of living i mean technically technically <laughs> <laughs> but i study at cmu so well that yeah i mean obviously <laughs> you have high fees over there but you also got yeah. full time job offer yeah. what's the salary <laughs> range for full time offers 
so for full time it's in and around um around 120 base to i, I think the whole package um let's say the uh, entire compensation would be around 200k 150 to oh. 200k for uh, for a beginner <laughs> oh wow yeah. Yeah. for a beginner <laughs> yeah for a beginner uh but as uh, if you're uh, experienced i the what if, what if is, someone has like 7 8 years of experience 400,000. I I went through it. <laughs> I've done my research. So, so I have 7 8 years of experience and you're telling me I could make 400. You could. Yes. <laughs> Please count a sense first. <laughs> no, I absolutely lost I need sense. to send this clip to my boss. <laughs> uh, and- one thing that I actually loved in turning in Salesforce was we had something called wellness days. So every mm, yeah. month we have one long weekend. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. As an intern also, you had one long weekend. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was in the Salesforce office um, right. and I filmed the day in our life as well. But uh, I so... regret not meeting you. I tried making it on time. I could not meet you. But... <laughs> it's, it's all good. It's all good. We, I, I know you're going to come back in June. So I'll, I'll be back and we're going to hang out. Uh, <laughs> And now that you told me that I could be making $400,000, so, you know, <laughs> so now that you were an intern, what were some of the skills you learned and you looking back, you would be like, okay, if someone wants to become a TPM, these are the skills they should focus on. Depends from one company to the other. For me, it was data analysis, understanding how to use an Excel or uh, using data analysis tools like Flourish, uh, Power BI, uh, Tableau. Uh, to create dashboards and uh, some internal Salesforce tools were there that I uh, had the opportunity to mingle and play around with. So um, those, uh, that's mainly what I did as an intern and then presenting to your team about what your findings are, being able to uh, hold a presentation um, and, you know, convey what you have found. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, that's awesome. (laughs) I'm excited for you. Uh, What's the one last piece of advice would you give to anybody who's watching this video i i still have a screenshot of what you put day before on instagram like you came this far not to give up right mm, Finish what you're yeah. Done. <laughs> yeah you came yeah. here for a reason keep that in mind and keep hustling <laughs> yes <laughs> you, you stole it uh yeah yeah no, that's awesome like i said uh, i'm my fan girl <laughs> i did <laughs> yeah um, is, you're so sweet uh no this is awesome thank you so much i know there's so much more we have to talk about especially your cmu journey you got the ta job over there and how yeah. you got to cmu and all the fun stuff about sure. that i can't wait to bring you back until our next one keep smiling and keep hustling <laughs> nice uh, I still can't figure out that uh, I can make $400,000 in sales. <laughs> <laughs>